The Minister for Sports and Recreation says she's appalled by the weekend's riot at a football stadium in the city of Durban. Please be advised some of the following footage is graphic in nature. Violence broke out at the Moses Mabhida Stadium on Saturday following the Nedbank Cup semi-final tie. Kaiser Chiefs lost 2-0 to Free State Stars. Angry fans invaded the pitch, attacking security officials. One female security guard is reportedly in a critical condition in hospital. South African police have made several arrests following the riot. They had to use tear gas and grenades to disperse unruly fans. Kaiser Chiefs is arguably South Africa's biggest club and has a huge fan base. South Africa's Premier Soccer League on Sunday strongly condemned the acts of violence at the stadium. In a statement, the PSL said, Hooliganism and thuggery of this nature has no place in football and acts of violence perpetrated by individuals as witnessed cannot be tolerated. The league will work closely with law enforcement to ensure that those responsible for this hooliganism are subjected to judicial process. Well, let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Johannesburg by CGTN CS Duplessis. Uh, CS, what is the latest on the police investigation into this riot? Can you update us on the arrests? Good afternoon, Karen. Yes, so far two suspects have been arrested, a 27-year-old and a 33-year-old. They were set to appear in the Durban Magistrates Court today, facing charges of malicious damage to property and assault. We're finding out now that the police in Durban have said there are more arrests, there are imminent, and we'll have to wait and see when they are brought to book. But so far, we've been told that not just in the stadium is where some of the, the process action was happening and where fans were lighting fires in the stands the cameras were damaged, uh, the, the security guards were assaulted. We're seeing now that it's spilt out into the streets on Amgheny Road, which is just next to the iconic stadium, where motorists were told to avoid all areas. There were fires and there were more damage to property. So I think there will certainly be more arrests as the investigation continues. So a lot of damage and, as you say, security officials have been injured. Do we know at this stage how many people have been injured in the football riot? The official number that we're getting is 16 people, including that uh, security guard who uh, we have found out now that he's now in a stable uh, condition. So his uh, condition has gone from uh, critical to stable. So it's good news on that front. But still, it was horrific to see what was happening. And, and the videos that have gone viral on social media, seeing that incident really has left a lot to be desired. But at this stage, 16 people were injured. The good news with the security guard is that he is indeed in a stable condition and hope to be released sometime this week. We'll have to keep an eye on what happens there. But at this stage, though, uh, there could have been a lot more. But at, at right now, 16 people is the official number uh, that we have. And see uh, us, what went wrong? What caused the clashes? It's very interesting. Kaiser Chiefs haven't been happy with their coach, Steve Compella, for some time now. And it's three years since South Africa's biggest club has gone without a trophy. Fans a month ago were very upset in a match between Kaiser Chiefs and Chipper United, which Chiefs in fact lost 3-0 at the FNB Stadium. The fans also started to get rather rowdy. They came onto the pitch. It wasn't quite the, the damage that we saw at the Moses Mabita Stadium, but it was still worrying to see that there was almost this real anger boiling under from the Chiefs fans. They wanted Compella out. They've been wanting him out for a long time. And at Moses Mabida, it's a massive stadium. It's a beautiful stadium in Durban. I mean, the 2010 World Cup games were played there. We've had various international events, concerts. It really is an iconic stadium. It, it does bring a larger crowd. And when Kaiser Chiefs play, they tend to have large following around the country. In Durban, it just happened that they had more. And enough was enough. The defeat to Free State Stars, the fans poured on. We saw the horrific scenes in Durban. And as a result, Steve Campella has come out now and he's resigned. Kaiser Chiefs, 40 hours later only, released a statement condemning the violence, saying they will uh, join the investigation and cooperate with the authorities. And as we speak, the Premier Soccer League's chairman, Dr. Ivan Causa, will address the media 
uh, on what happened and what the PSL will do now. It could mean that Kaiser Chiefs will have to play games behind closed doors without their fans, but something has to be done to stamp out the scourge. Okay, CS2 Player C for us in Johannesburg. Thank you for that update on the football right in Durban.